okay friends uh, yesterday we discussed about email and we discussed the uh, the in the case of your email you need one email id and uh, this email id is a unique name when you log in in your id and send any message uh, that is only with the help of login in that email id so there are some uh, special software that is called third party software with the help of which you can log in in your id and send your emails without using the website okay so here is uh, one uh, example there are some examples of your softwares third party software that is used for sending your emails without login in email uh, login in the website so there is a mozilla thunderbird post box express em window window link mail ticket so these are different examples of third party softwares so there is another one is outlook express which i have already discussed here तो आप किसी भी पर्टिकुलर सॉफ्टवेयर इससे क्या होगा कि आप आपको वेबसाइट ओपन करने की जरूरत नहीं लाइक जी मेल और या हु यू कैन सिंपली ओपन योर सॉफ्टवेयर एंड देन फिल द यूजर आईडी एंड पासवर्ड ईमेल्स विल बी देयर यू कैन कंपोज ईमेल और यू कैन आल्सो डाउनलोड द ईमेल्स फ्रॉम योर ईमेल सर्वर क्लियर and you can forward the emails you can reply the emails so different things you can do with the help of these softwares so this is called email premier okay this feature is called email premier so there are two methods to assess the emails or using your email id one is with the help of a website of a email service provider second is with the help of a third party softwares theek okay? hai so yahan pe maine discuss kar diya mozilla thunderbird post office postbox express em all of these are third party software now next is if you want uh, how you can view the received mail simply log in in your email id by using uh, by filling uh, user id and password for example here email.com you will fill the email id you uh, the url of the web uh, email service provider use fill user id and password Fill user ID and then password. So here is your email window. If you want to. view the received email this is a list of a received in email it is inbox so inbox show all the received email and it show your the title and uh, the person who has sent the email okay these are the hyperlinks you can click on any email to check the email 
मैसेज क्लियर तो आपने किसी भी ईमेल के ऊपर आप क्लिक कर, कर सकते हो और उसको व्यू कर सकते हो तो इट विल बी चेंज इन एंड साइन तो नेक्स्ट इज हाउ वी कैन कंपोज ई मेल देर इज ए कंपोज बटन तो यू विल हैव टू फिल बी इन टू बॉक्स टाइप द ई मेल आई डी ऑफ रिसीवर देन इन सब्जेक्ट टाइप द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ योर ई मेल एंड इन योर कंटेंट्स एरिया टाइप द मैसेज यू कैन ऑल्सो अटैच द अटैचमेंट बाई क्लिकिंग ऑन attachment button there is a hyperlink buttons there are some symbols to show your emotions okay after applying these you can you will have to click on send button next is suppose i have opened any email so here is two buttons reply and forward so reply means you are giving the response to the received email in that case the email to whom uh, the uh, the email id uh, of sender will appear and you will have to type the message and click on send button theek hai aur agar aap click karte ho forward ke upar in that case you are going to send the same message to another person so in the two box you will have to type the email id of a receiver theek hai uska email id aapko fill karna padega now next is वन मिनट बेटा नो नेक्स्ट इज so there are different uh, component of email message so here i am going to discuss the structure of your email message structure of an email message so in a email message there are some uh, components these components are number 1 here from so this is uh, by default your email id theek hai yahan pe aapka email id aayega so it uh, email id of sender theek hai two here you will fill the uh, email id of receiver cc carbon copy if you want to send the same uh, copy to another person so in it cc box type the different uh, email id bcc it is it stand for blind carbon copy if you want to send the same message to number of user and without giving any information to the receiver that the same email had been has been sent to uh, these persons okay so bcc and cc dono mein ye difference hai in cc sabhi ko pata lagega ki email kisko bheji gayi hai but in the case of bcc the receiver will not aware about the different uh, receivers of the same email next there is subject so here uh, in a subject you type the subject matter of your email it is a short description of your email next is in body of email you type the contents you can attach any file as attachment then there is a date 
of your email. This is not visible in your uh, screen. It is by default to the date of uh, sending that email with time. Then message ID. So in a message ID, uh, every message, every email sent by you has a unique ID. By with the help of that ID, uh, the, your message can be identified. So it is a unique number given to your email. This is called message ID. Okay, so any doubt in this? Bhumika, any doubt? No, sir. Now, next is so here is a one uh, difference between uh, replying and forwarding the email. Uh, reply means it means to reply back to the sender of email, forward means it means sending or transferring email to some other person. Reply means while replying, the address of sender automatically appear in the two box of compose window. While forwarding may email address to the receiver has to be typed. So you will have to type the receiver email ID. Then last one is click on reply button to reply to an email and click on forward button in order to forward an email. So these are the differences. Now next is, Next topic of your curriculum. So next is downloading. And up, uh, here is uh, different uh, internet services are there. We have discussed email. Then now next topic is chat. Okay. So now we are going to discuss chat. So with a chatting is a online textual text uh, talk is called chatting. So basically chatting was developed for making any text messages, but present time we can uh, provide chatting with the help of voice as well as, as well as video. So there is a video chatting is here. Then there is a audio chatting is here and the uh, text chatting is here. But initially it was only for text based chatting. So that's why online textual talk is called chatting. Message type on the screen, which is immediately received by the receiver, both sender and receiver must be sitting online. So after that, don't know online on the Or there are different ways for chatting. Okay, chatting it there, there are different ways. So Akipas, there is a I am chatting, there is ICQ, IRC, and the web-based chatting. So we are going to discuss these chatting one by one. So in the case of your instant messages, messaging means I am. There is a one special, uh, one, uh, uh, there is a, it is a type of communication service via IM software. So its full form is instant messaging, okay? Uh, that enable one to create a kind of private connection with other individuals in, in order to communicate in real time. So there are some software, there are some messengers you will have to install, for example, EOL Messenger. So, you have to install Messenger in the computer. 
and with the help of uh, that messenger, use your email ID and password to log in in that, and then you can send the messages. Next one is ICQ. ICU full form is it is a uh, tool of individual uh, on the net to chat, emails, perform, and file transfer. As after was again, this is a type of your software or uh, in this is your different one that is called web based chatting. Okay, so uh, present time you can also chat with the help of uh, the email ID. Okay, whenever you are logging in your email ID, you can also perform uh, some um, uh, chatting there. So these are web based chatting. So next topic chatting is simply text based talk. Okay. So present time, these are not popular because due to the uh, different apps of mobile like WhatsApp or uh, there are number of uh, online apps are there. So that's why these are not uh, famous now. Now the next topic of your syllabus is video conferencing. So video conferencing So there are different uh, chatting softwares here, Yahoo Messenger, WhatsApp, WhatsApp uh, is a, your mobile based, Snapchat, Gtalk, Facebook Messenger, WeChat, Window Li Live Messenger, F-Log. So these are the different uh, chatting softwares. Next is video conferencing. So it is a live, uh, it is a live visual connection between two or more people residing in separate location. So there are two, uh, when there is a li live communication, face to face communication between two or more person and they are far away from each other. It is called video conference. So VC provides transmission of static image and text between two locations. So, after was image bhi jayegi, submit text bhi jayega. It provides transmission of full motion video, image, and high quality audio. So, there are different uh, examples of uh, video conferencing apps and software. It is FaceTime, Zoom, Skype, GoToMeeting, Google Meet, Blue Jeans, Google Hangouts. So all of these are different examples of the video conferencing. And we can also use these apps for online classes. So it is a, uh, a two-way uh, service uh, these uh, apps are providing. One is uh, there are for business purpose, there are meetings for education purpose, there are online classes. Next is, Advantages of video conferencing, save travel time and uh, cost and time. Suppose uh, if we want to make meeting with any person and uh, that person is not a local person in any country or in any other city, so we will have to go there. So it includes cost as well as time. So with the help of video conferencing, we are saving cost as well as time. Next one is meeting can be conducted across the globe. So we can um, start the meeting with any person, anywhere. Okay. So it is, it means globally we can uh, conduct any meeting. Next one is we can see people and can hear them, can notice their body language. So a person could see them, listen to them, or their body reaction from them. Document can be viewed by all person in the meeting. If we share the document, just like a Zoom, I am sharing my screen. So we can, uh, the document can be viewed by, can be uh, visible to all persons in the meeting. Idea and knowledge can be communicated between person very quickly. So up and ideas or knowledge can be shared. Next is, Excellent way to keep in touch with friends, family, even if they are 
in separate countries or separate cities or uh, the location that is far away from you. So it is an excellent way to keep in touch with your friends and family members. Any doubt in this? Madhav? No, sir, no doubt. Okay. Next is disadvantages. In uh, your exam, there are uh, practical questions are given there. So you will have to remember these advantages, disadvantages, and the meaning of different uh, internet terms. Okay. Now, disadvantages of video conferencing. Additional cost of hardware and software for video conferencing. So for using video conferencing, we will have to use special hardware. For example, here is a web camera is there, or uh, uh, there is a mic is there. And next second, next one is special softwares are required. For example, Zoom is there. Okay. For present time, these are free of cost due to the uh, COVID period. Otherwise. All of these were paid software. So additional cost of hardware and software for video conferencing. Next one, very fast internet connection is required. So second drop, uh, disadvantage, we need very fast internet connection. Third one, hardware problem can occur. This allowing some participant to attend the meeting. Sometime uh, there are due to some technical reasons, uh, the participant not able to attend the meeting. So these are hardware problems. Next is problem of different time zone can can be unsuitable for many persons. Suppose uh, I am starting a meeting in uh, in India. It is morning, but in another country, it may be the time uh, time difference will be there. Okay, there are different time zones are there. And it is possible that that time is not suitable for other person. Next is video camera might not be able to see all the parts of room at the same time. So these uh, the video con con conferencing can't replace the offline method. So you can see the camera ke usi view ko dekh sakte, jo visible. Hai. The, the rest of the parts of the uh, room is not uh, visible. So these are the different drawbacks of a video or uh, drawbacks or disadvantages of a video conferencing. Next is for requirement of video conferencing means different type of hardware or software which are required. Number one is multimedia PC. So your computer must be multimedia. It means uh, here we can uh, 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 provide the uh, uh, the multimedia contents it means it must be of a good quality processor should be there next is video compressing hardware you hardware you provide for example there is a web camera is there uh, then uh, there is a software for example uh, you download the recording and there you, uh, recording is in a VLC player so you have software video phone uh, software so in case it is in, in, uh, in, in the case of your any phone and then there is a video phone software internet connection high speed internet connection then web camera so it is inbuilt in the case of your uh, mobile phone but in the case of uh, uh, laptop again it is uh, uh, inbuilt but in the case of your desktop you will have to attach that next is area of application where we can apply the video conferencing in business distance learning telecommunication with the clients legal environment telemedicine media okay these are the application area of uh, video conferencing so in business we can provide the meeting with the other person with the help of body video conferencing, distance learning, just like online classes, telecommunication with clients. So if we want to discuss something with the clients, 
we can make a meet uh, we can start a meeting with the proper video conferencing software legal environment suppose uh, the lawyer is in different city and he or she can attend the legal proceeding with the proper video conferencing telemedicine if the doctor is in is in another city he or she can uh, check the patient with the app of video conferencing media for example in the case of newspaper there are video conferencing different in a panel there are different persons are there with the app of video conferencing they are uh, talking with the, each other so these are the different area of uh, applications so we discussed about video conferencing next is uh there are some topics like uh, e learning e banking e shopping e reservation e governance then e group and social networking website so first one is e shopping so shopping means buying the things <laughs> buying the products and whenever you are buying of goods your sh uh, your shopping is online with the help of internet it is called e shopping so there are different uh, websites that provide e shopping feature so first of all what is the meaning of e shopping i am uh, typing its definition so the process here is e shopping the process of shopping shopping means buying something done over the internet is called online shopping or e shopping the meaning of uh, online shopping or e shopping are same both produce products and services in both product products and uh, services can be purchased and services can be purchased So this is your e shopping. So any doubt in this meaning of e shopping? So there there are different websites that provide e shopping facility. For example, here Flipkart. dot com. then indiatime.com snapdeal number of websites are providing e shopping facility so these are the websites where are some examples now there are a some advantages and disadvantages of e shopping the disadvantage uh, if you take the uh, disadvantage we can't see the product in uh, we can only view the uh, there is the imagination about the product clear there are e frauds are there it means you make the payment and you are not getting the product or you are getting the different product okay 
so there are different type of uh, disadvantages are there in the case of e shopping but there are some benefits are there uh, one is uh, traveling cost it will reduce the traveling cost it save your time clear then there are a variety of goods are available clear then there are equal accessibility of product so different products are there you can compare the price you can next one is uh, there are uh, there is a uh, money saving in the case of e shopping because you can compare the price given by the different uh, websites so these are the different advantages okay better uh, 